It seems like it's been 19 years since we've seen any rain. I know it's you know not as fun as the sun, but man, we really needed it today. No kidding. And most areas at least got some spotty showers here and there. And uh, the question is, is it going to continue? I know there was a chance of storms, but you mm -hmm. say now that's really kind of a slim chance now, huh? Yes, that's what I believe that today, the rest of the day, I think we're in good shape for the threat of severe weather is diminished because of all the cloud coverage and we've had some rain that's pretty much killed that. But tomorrow we do have the threat of severe weather again, and I'll get to that in just a moment. But let's take a look right now at our view across central Indiana. We'll head to Carmel first. We have some wet pavement there. That area had some wet shower activity earlier over the past couple of hours. Heading down to Greensburg, this area had some heavy downpours too. So some areas had some sprinkles, other areas had some de heavy downpours. If we look here on our, on our satellite radar, you can see really the heaviest rain was in east central Indiana. So looking at live Doppler 13 radar right now, we still have that shower activity pushing off to the northeast, northeast central Indiana from Delaware County all the way up into uh, Porter County, Jay County. But right now, as far as rainfall totals go, the heaviest rain has remained in east central Indiana. Newcastle over one inch, almost three quarters of an inch in Rushville, almost one and a quarter inch in Shelbyville, and almost an inch in Columbus. Now, here's a look at the temperatures. It's pretty cool. I was forecasting highs in the upper 80s earlier today. It only got up to 78, so we got a break from the heat and the humidity. The cloud deck really was hanging tough today. It didn't allow much of a warm-up. We're at 70 right now in Indianapolis. Throughout the evening hours, we'll see that rain spinning on out of here. It'll likely be out of here by 9, 10 o'clock tonight without the um, heating of the sun, we'll see that diminishing. Temperatures during the overnight will fall into the low to mid 60s, so a little bit more milder air returning, but the winds will start to shift again out of the south later tonight into tomorrow. So that's going to allow for a bigger warm up for Monday. I do think we'll see the clouds thinning out late tonight into tomorrow morning. So we'll start off with some sunshine and temperatures will start heating up back into the upper 80s. It will also be more humid. However, we do have the threat of some severe thunderstorms late tomorrow afternoon into the evening. Temperatures tomorrow afternoon climbing into those upper 80s with the threat of severe weather, mainly in west central Indiana. And that is for during the day tomorrow. So that is the reason why is because we're going to see a line of stronger storms pushing in around 7 or 8 o'clock tomorrow night in west central Indiana. Those storms have the potential for some gusty winds, perhaps even some large hail as these push off to the northeast. So we'll see that around 7 or 8 o'clock tomorrow night. And then by 10 o'clock tomorrow evening, it'll likely make its way into Indianapolis. But I think by then, we'll start to see that really falling apart. As we get into Tuesday, perhaps a few more spotty showers in the afternoon. But I think it's going to be mainly dry, and we will see a gradual clearing. As far as rainfall potential goes, we could see another half an inch of rain on top of what we've already had. So will be a much cooler as we head into Tuesday with highs in the low 80s Tuesday afternoon and the cool down will actually continue for the next few days. We will see temperatures in the low 80s Wednesday and Thursday rain chances return again late Friday. Dustin. Thanks Kelly. Thanks. And now